Okay, so Jeremy's been here a few times. So a lot of times people ask me, you know, if I can feel a difference in their spine after one, two or three sessions. And really, a chiropractor is not going to feel a difference in a person's spine until after several sessions like 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's because usually the problem has been developing for many years. So it does take several adjustments before a chiropractor will start to see and feel a difference in one spine. So we continue to do these same joints over and over again to retrain, to rehabilitate the joints. Okay, we're taking the stress off the joint and the nerve, allowing the body to function and heal. So we're being very specific, adjusting certain joints. For example, you with the right hip here, right SI joint, L5, L4, not moving. So those are the first joints we're going to address. Let's go on your left. You have a short leg on the right because of the pelvic misalignment. Okay. Good. You're going to breathe in and exhale. Good. Okay, now we're going to lie the other way. So the popping you hear is air. Air develops in our joints. It builds up little air molecules. So when I adjust the joint, we're creating a vacuum and the joint, the, the, the molecule is bursting. And that's what's making the popping sound. Let's breathe in. We're going to go a little higher and exhale. Good. Okay, now you're going to lie face up. Okay, so the middle back, a lot of tension is developing there at T4, T5. We're going to adjust this joint right here. Two joints. Breathe in and exhale. Good. All right, and just relax. Okay. So here the big issue in our neck is we straighten. Our neck develops what's called hypolordosis. So we lose the natural curve in our neck by the age of 15 to 20. And so we are going to work on a couple joints here. C4, C5, C5, C6 right here. Good. Good. So we're working on bringing the natural curvature back. Here, C1, C2. Good. There we go. So our goal is to reduce the stress, all the stress here. It's affecting the nerve, causing all those muscles to tighten. Okay, you're ready. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. You're a new man after all that travel to Japan, <laughs> yeah. right? It's different beds, airplane, the airplane ride. That is all stress. Walking, the, the, different, the pillows in hotels are usually not good. You have a very soft pillow, so of course, usually when you come back from a trip, you have a stiff neck. You know, you have numbness down your arm, you don't feel good, you usually get sick, and those are all stressors. And that's why we get sick, is because of a weakened immune system, compromised nervous system. We don't get sick because of germs. We always have germs around us. So when we're in a weakened state, germs are able to take hold and we get sick. Mm -hmm. So the adjustment is gonna stimulate nerve function, improve nerve function and immune function, helping you not get sick. So the more you do it, the less sick you get. So this was my sixth adjustment with Dr. Rob, but the last one was, just a little bit over a month ago so it was really nice to get adjusted again felt so good my favorite one is when he does the adjustment on my upper back that one feels really good i just feel like i can hold my posture a lot easier and i feel more relaxed holding my posture yeah it just relieves some tension in my back in my body my head i feel like i just have like a lot more flow i feel I don't know, it just feels really good. From what I heard from Dr. Rob, getting chiropractic adjustments is really good for your nervous system. It takes the pressure off your nerves if your joints are not correctly aligned or if your joints haven't moved in a while. It can cause some pressure against your nervous system and that can cause your nervous system to weaken and sometimes that's why you get sick. It's kind of cool that doing chiropractic adjustments can actually help your immune system. So I thought that was really cool. Anyways, my name is Jeremy Cruz. If you like watching my videos, make sure to check out some other ones on this channel. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.